Hi guys, welcome back to our Blogettes YouTube channel. I'm Lorena, I'm one of the co-founders of Blogettes. And thank you so much for being part of this video. So today we're gonna be talking about one of my favorite topics, which is Google Analytics. And for all of you guys, bloggers or business owners that own a website, unless you've been hiding under a rock for the past years, you all at least have heard about Google Analytics, which I believe is a must for every business and every blogger. So we're just gonna go ahead and go into the basics of Google Analytics of what should you be looking for in order to make the best use of that data. This is very for beginners. There's so much you can do with analytics, but we're just gonna go into the basics right now. And just before we even go into the basics, in order to install it, it's very easy. If you have a WordPress site, you can do it through a plugin. If you have any other site of, or any other type of website, you can just install a code on your header. So it's very, very easy. You can Google how to do that, or if you have any questions, always let us know. And yeah, are you ready? We're gonna go into the basics of analytics. As you can see of my screen, this is our blog uh, analytics. So the first thing that it would be helpful for you guys, and I know we're at the office are a little bit obsessed with it here, but you can see if you go here to the real time part and overview, you can really see uh, if people are active on your website right now, what pages are they looking at, and this is very helpful for us, especially after we launched our new website, because then we can see if people are actually being able to use the website, if they like get in and then get out, but basically you can see what people are looking at that same time. You can see people are on your cart and then if they exit out, um, what posts are they looking at. You can see how quick your results of posting something on social media are because you'll be able to see immediate traffic go to that post. So as you can see here, you have referrals. So this is where the traffic is coming from. Uh, we have somebody that came to Blogettes through Erin Conrad and then someone from Facebook. So you can take a little bit of look at information. Where are they coming from and they are on a desktop, on mobile or on a tablet. So that's pretty much the real time. You can go into it a little deeper with location. So where are these people that are currently on the site located? They're all in the United States for us right now. Um, traffic sources. So this is where people are coming from. And then the next part, which is one of my favorite parts in which you guys you bloggers and are gonna be using a lot. Specifically, it's all the data that you need to create your media kit, right? Or even as a business, if you're whatever type of business, you need to know how many people are visiting your site per month, right? So you can see like how many people can you convert maybe into sales. And for all of you guys bloggers, traffic is what you sell. So this is where you get all the information out of it, right? So here you're gonna see your sessions, which is basically a session equals every time someone visits your site. It doesn't matter if it's repeated, it doesn't matter if it's like, if I visit your site two times, I did two sessions on your website today, okay? So sessions is very important. Users, these are individuals. So I am one user and I can do two or three sessions on your same website. Page views is pretty much how many pages are seen on every session, right? A total of page views that this 19,000 sessions have gotten. And then this is a very important number guys, 2.8 pages per session. That's how many pages your uh, visitors are seeing every time they log into your website. This is very important because you want them to stay as long as possible. You want your website to drag them from one place to the other. It is a better experience for the user, so you want to increase those numbers. So that's why that number is so important. And this is the average session duration, so people on Blogettes are here for an average of 2.5 minutes. Um, the bounce rate is how many people exit after just seeing one page and then this is important everybody will ask you advertisers or clients will be like so what's your average of new, new visitors with returning visitors right so here you have it and the new ones basically returning it's great to have returning visitors because they like your site but the new ones are also very important because for advertisers that want to advertise on your site they don't want the same people to be looking at the content that you're putting about their brand right so they need new people coming into your site so basically for your media kit you will be looking at all of this data to put on your media kit and so you can talk to brands and really sell your product here um, it's just a graph and my favorite part about analytics is that you can pretty much customize the time. 
So if you want to see data for the past year, you can see data for the past year. You want to see it just for the, next, the last six months, you can do that as well. So don't be intimidated by it and play a little bit with it. So here right now we're in overview of audience. Here you can play around, you can see demographics, you can go into technology, how are they getting into your site, and just a lot of things that if you go into it, you can explore and get a lot of information for your business or, or your blog. So basically the other thing that I wanted to show you today, it's acquisition. So pretty much you can see here, oh we're gonna see one more but after acquisition, but here in acquisition is pretty much how people are coming to your site. This is helpful information for everyone, for business, for bloggers. So how people organically finding you on Google, can you improve your SEO a little bit? Referral, this means that other sites are writing about you and people are coming to your site from another site. Social is all your social media traffic from Facebook, Pinterest, whatever you're putting effort in email our email campaigns that we send through mailchimp so this is very 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 good for us to determine where our traffic is coming from and where we need to put a little bit more effort to grow our traffic from you can see it here and then this part it's very very important if you're putting effort and money into creating content you're gonna go into behavior here and go to site content you're gonna click on all pages and here you'll be able to see, I always like to change it from page to page title. And here you'll be able to see the top pages for this period. So for us, this is very, very important because you will be able to see what pages are people visiting. But the most important part for your blog or if you have any products, like how many people have seen a blog post? And then this is where we really see how many page views a blog post has had what blog posts are successful, what we should we be writing a little bit more about, what should we write less about, and what are people really interested on. So, as you can see here, you can change the number of rows. You can do up, up to whatever you want. So, you can see here which ones are most popular are, and our most popular blog post for this past month has been this one. So we know this gives us an idea of what our community is looking for writing a little bit more about that, writing a little bit less, or maybe we shared it in a different platform, so we wanna see where the traffic came from, like is this a post that will go well in LinkedIn or Facebook, where did the traffic come from this post? So basically you can see here the popularity of all the content that you've ever published. Uh, you can see the page views, the unique page views, how many people, how much time people spent on this specific page and yeah so this is very very helpful for you guys that are working on your editorial calendar and what to put more of what to put less of if you don't have numbers if you don't have analytics it's very complicated to improve your performance so i really recommend you guys to go and play with analytics but start with those four things that we saw today and you'll really see a big difference remember create a strategy and you will do way better than just going at it blind so that's all for me on Google Analytics right now. It was just a little bit of information, but I hope it was helpful. And if you like the video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up on the bottom of the video. And then also don't forget to subscribe to our channel, share our video. We would appreciate all of that. Thank you so much for being part of this video and we'll see you next time. Bye.